Mr. Pradeep, uh, good afternoon. Uh, a view on the Nifty and uh, what should be the strategy going ahead now? Hi, good afternoon, Pankaj. You know, since last one and a half months, we have been betting for, for consolidation. Uh, the fact I have been pointing out repeatedly that Nifty had a decent run up of uh, more than 30%, Bank Nifty Auto Index had run up of more than 50% uh, over uh, last six months or so. And one or two months of consolidation will make Nifty and other indices only healthy. So that's what we had seen in September and that continues in October as well. Now talking about the levels 8540 to 8500 is a crucial support area for the short term. You know 8540 was the consolidation bottom. Uh, you know in August we had a long consolidation phase of four weeks or so. And 8520 was and 8540 where the levels were Nifty took support repeatedly. And 8500 was where uh, you know a 20 week moving average for Nifty was placed. So you know this is this is the region where uh, Nifty had a very strong support area, and from there we have seen a bounce back. Now on the higher side, equally strong resistance is placed around 8800, where you know surgical top bottom was placed, and that's where Nifty made a double top uh, uh, thereafter also. So you know. Basically, we are saying that Nifty is in the range of 8500 to 8800 and it should stay in this range for a couple of weeks. And then uh, one, once uh, with this consolidation breaks out on either side, a big next up move or down move will happen. But for the time being, it's still a consolidation. Pradeep, any view on Idea Cellular? So, you know, this is one stock we have been quite bearish and in fact, uh, 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 only Tatacom is stock where we have been bullish in the telecom space. Idea, if you remember, 96 was a major support and once though that broken out decisively, we were working for, with a down, big downside target of around 65 to 70. Recently, stock touched a low of 71, so it's very close to that support area or the target area after that big breakdown. And still, I think oscillators are uh, looking weak on the weekly as well as daily charts. Uh, I think there are uh, this is today's move should be seen as just a pullback rally after an oversold territory on the higher side. 82, 83 would be immediate uh, resistance area, and it still continues to be a sell on rally stock for us. Right. Uh, at what level would you look to sell? So I think 80 to 83 is the region where it's uh, 34 DMA will kick in. So that would be an immediate resistance to I. So keeping that as a stop loss once it moves closer to that level, keeping that as a stop loss, one can initiate short. But as I mentioned, it's oversold territory and uh, preferably I would uh, uh, look to avoid it. But uh, I mean, uh, technically, I, it would still continue. As I mentioned, the oscillators on daily and weekly charts are still bearish. So if you have a pay I would be comfortable shorting it closer to 80 to 83 kind of levels. Right. Uh, Hindustan Singh has just declared numbers. I'll just read the numbers. So sales, uh, profits, sorry, have come in at uh, 1,900 crores. Estimates was 1,540 crores. Total revenues have come in at uh, 3,888 crores. Numbers at the bottom of your screen as well. 1,901 for Hindustan Singh in terms of profit. 3,880 in terms of revenue. Also, I'm getting a note notification which says that Hindustan Zinc has approved a dividend policy. Not sure what uh, this uh, policy is, but I'll try and pull up the release and try and find out uh, uh, what's what's happening. Pradeep, any view on Hindustan Zinc? It's a name which has done very, very well. Oh, yes. And uh, I mean, uh, it had a decent run up over the last couple of months. But I think on the weekly chart, it has formed a negative divergence and I think it should consolidate a bit around these levels. So I would not go ahead and buy at current level, but uh, allow the stock to cool off. I think on the way down uh, closer to 210, 220 is the region where I would be comfortable and would uh, want stock to correct after a decent run up. Right. I'm just opening uh, the release and if I read uh, from the release, uh, so metals and mining production was up 51% quarter on quarter. This is a number that we had. Board has approved a dividend policy. H2 to be substantially stronger than H1. So that's a guidance which is coming in from the management. EBITDA has come in at uh, 2,077 crores. That's up 84% QOQ. Uh, in terms of dividend policy, that is something that I want to see that what dividend policy they have uh, uh, approved, but uh, not something that I can uh, see in the release as of now. So probably we'll wait and watch for, uh, you know, what's happening, what's, what's coming. Okay. 
so dividend and uh, they say that in accordance with the SEBI's recent guideline, the board of directors have uh, approved the company's dividend policy, which entitles a minimum dividend of 30% of the profits or 5% of the net worth, whichever is higher. The detailed policy is available on the company's website. Considering a special Golden Jubilee dividend paid in April, no interim dividend is being paid now. I think this is something which one would take as a very, very big positive uh, of this dividend policy coming in. Uh, Pradeep, uh, I know you're a trader and you're you know, trying to look at prices. Uh, but, uh, you know, with the dividend policy coming in where the management says that they would be paying a minimum 30% uh, uh, of their net profits or 5% of net worth in terms of dividend, definitely should be taken positively because it's a company which is generating cash flow. They don't have much capex. They don't have any debt. In fact, they have surplus uh, cash on their books. Rightly so. But, but you know, this something has anyway been a strong dividend payer. You know, last time if I remember it paid a dividend of 22 or, or 25 rupees. Uh, and it has been a stock was around 16170. So, uh, I mean, uh, this is what it has already uh, put in uh, uh, black and white that this is a dividend policy but with, uh, notwithstanding dividend policy also it has been a good dividend payer uh, purely looking from the uh, price chart as i mentioned uh, look, only because of the strong run-up i would want the stock to cool off before uh, taking a fresh positive nevertheless long-term chart still continue to be, uh, continue to look good and this has been our preferred bet in the metal space but looking at the steep run-up and the negative divergence on weekly charts i think some sort of consolidation or some uh, correction is on the cards Right. Uh, and uh, similar is the case with Vedanta? Vedanta, I think, uh, is struggling or uh, negotiating with its uh, big moving average resistance in the form of 500 week moving average, which is placed around 199 to 100. Once that is taken out, then it can go to 210, 220 kind of levels. But as I mentioned, 200 is the level where 119 and 200 is the region where it is uh, facing a tough moving average resistance. And since last couple of days, it has been trying to cross that level. So I would watch out for that level to be taken out decisively before uh, betting for next 15% up. Right. Uh, Pradeep, thank you so much for taking our time for us. I uh, hope to see you again.